So Universe Sandbox got an update a couple days ago and they added some new things. And one of the things they just added is a circular cow. Spherical cow, here it is. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the size of a real cow and they just made it spherical to get like the gravity realistic because the game simulates round gravity. But here it is, here's the cow. 550 kilograms with a radius of only one meter. So today we're gonna do a few things with this cow. So let's go. Okay, so they actually added a new built-in simulation where they launch 100 cows at Earth at the speed of light. Oh, <laughs> they, they, they're coming. Each one's like bouncing off and shooting fragments in. I mean, they're doing a little bit. Oh, is that all of them? So it shoots off a lot of fragments and the crater is not small. I mean, they're going the speed of light, so they do have a decent amount of energy. Let's speed up time and watch the shock wave. Uh, it spreads out over almost all of um, the central part of the Americas. So it probably would have killed a few people, but overall it looks like the Earth is pretty much unscathed after that. So let's give it a bigger spherical cow. Okay, spherical cow launch into America, but let's make it a lot bigger. How big should we make it? There we go. Okay, the spherical cow is now almost as massive as the moon, and it looks like it's almost as big as Earth, so the density is not super high. Oh! <laughs> the time is going too fast, but it looks like it turned Earth into a gas giant. Interesting. So I guess let's see what it, it sh says that it's made of. Yeah, so it makes the spherical cow 100% hydrogen. So when we mix that with Earth, it turned it into a gas giant. Oh, it looks like the hydrogen melted off and left us with... What is going on here? I can't tell if it's... Like what? If we remove the water, let's see what happens. Yeah, look, it still has like the gas giant texture. It's like bugged. The cow bugs objects, it looks like. Okay, let's try to make the cow its own planet. So let's pull up the cow again. And we're going to put it between Mars and Jupiter, about right here. Um, so this spherical cow is now moving at 21 kilometers every second. So just imagine a cow flying through space at 21 kilometers a second. But we're gonna want it bigger. Okay, now it's about the size of Earth. So this spherical cow is now a planet. So here's the spherical cow compared to Earth. Let's put Earth next to it. So the mass is about the same, but the radius is actually a lot bigger on the cow. I want to see them collide. Yes. Oh, <laughs> just absorbed. They don't like have collisions for these small objects. So they just kind of absorb into it, but it can still affect the motion of the object. Like it's spinning um, counterclockwise right now, but if we launch it like this, you can see I just made it spin the other direction. So I wonder if we can make it spin really fast. Or oh, are those gonna hit? Oh, oh, that one might escape. Okay, but the spherical cow is going pretty good. So it's about nine Earths in mass. I wonder what, is this Earth going to go into it? It looks like yes. Oh, actually, is it in orbit? No way. Yeah, it's in a really tight orbit. It might actually collide here on the backside now. No. So it has its own moon now. The Earth has its moon. Let's give it some rings. Rings. That might affect the Earth. Yeah, the Earth is kind of sucking up a lot of the rings and shooting them back out. Let's see if it affects it enough to get the Earth to crash into it. I don't think so. Okay, so it looks like the Earth is actually pretty stable in orbit around the spherical cow. Rings are a little bit wonky. Let's launch another spherical cow into this one. Um, I think we're gonna need it bigger. Let's put it here and make it radius. We'll go 10 Earths. Okay, well now we have a competition here. Cow versus cow. What happens? That's the question. Cow eats cow and Earth with the baby spherical cow still orbiting around. I wonder if it'll even show, does it show like life likelihood? 0%. Can we put an atmosphere on it? Oh, it doesn't give us a surface tab. Okay, so we can't make it habitable. 
Okay, well that's the spherical cow. So also in this update, they added the green comet that came by in February. Um, so on March 2nd, 2022, they saw this asteroid or this comet. So you can see the date down here. It's January 20th, um, closest approach to Earth on February 1st. So we'll pause the game on February 1st. So it's estimated that this asteroid will not come to Earth again for another 50,000 years. Okay, this is February 1st. And here's the actual comet. Let's zoom in on it. Does it give us greenness on it? Oh, check it out. That looks cool. It looks like Minmus from um, Kerbal Space Program. So where's, where's our Earth? Right here. So, I mean, that's pretty far still. Like, I bet if I land on it, I can't really see it. There it is, the little dot. So that's the green comet going towards Earth in this system. So that's also new in the update. And then the other thing they added was planet Vulcan. So back before general relativity was discovered, they thought there was another planet between Mercury and the sun uh, because Mercury's orbit seemed a little bit off of what it should be. So they thought there was this other planet and there was reported sightings of it. So here is that hypothetical planet and how big it, they thought it could be. Um, so it's planet Vulcan, super close to the sun. It looks like it's tidally locked and it is gonna heat up a lot over time. So they used to think that this planet existed, uh, which would have been crazy to have another planet in the solar system. So it looks like it gives it a red, it almost looks like red velvet cake. Um, and let's watch our temperature graph and we can see, so it's not actually tidally locked, but it's close to it. So you can see how it's like really hot and that hotness travels around the surface almost. But it's crazy to think that this, they thought that this planet existed. So let's take Vulcan and now give it a spherical cow as a moon. Because why not? And another one and another one. How many spherical cows can we give it? It's about to have as many rings or as many moons as a gas giant, but they're all gonna be cows. Boom, check that out. Vulcan with all of the spherical cows orbiting it. There's lots of cows. And now let's just start increasing the mass on this first one until something happens. Once something happens, I'll stop and see what happens. Still going, we're still good. Oh, is it pulling in the orbits of these further ones? I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to pull the other cows in. You can see the lines moving. Oh, oh, it's very big now. There it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look, it's totally pulling all of the other cows. I'm gonna keep going. It's bigger than Vulcan now, but still orbiting around it. That's a cool sight. Eventually it'll get so big that they, yeah, they're starting to combine now, you can see. Uh, yes, cow, eat. We need flashlight. Eat it, cow. It's trying to eat it, you can see it. <laughs> Come on. Why won't it eat it? That's like a perfect screenshot right there. Okay, a little bit bigger and I bet it eats it. Oh, it's so close. Oh, there we go. Okay, spherical cow has destroyed Vulcan. Now we make it so big that it eats all of these too. Okay, spherical cow has taken over the entire solar system. We're gonna keep making it bigger. Bigger bigger thing with these objects is they like are in the co they can never turn into stars or galaxies or anything so you could just keep adding mass and they just keep getting bigger so it's about to eat the entire solar system it looks like yes keep going okay 13 galaxies is okay 483 galaxies is our spherical cow now so if we put the Milky Way next to that, um, it still looks smaller, but the density is gonna be higher. Let's turn up the time super fast, like millions of years per second, and you'll be able to see that. Yes, see, it's like ripping it apart, the spherical cow. Um, we created a new galaxy called the spherical cow galaxy. Instead of a supermassive black hole in the center, we have a cow. All right, well, that's the spherical cow and the new update of Universe Sandbox. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it and leave suggestions for more Universe Sandbox things in the comments below. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe.